The will to survive and the desire to create something are humanity's most important drives. Even the worst strokes of fate cannot break these needs. In the upcoming City Builder strategy game, New Cycle from Turkish developer Core Engage, it is up to you to prove that these drives will always exist. In New Cycle, you set out to rebuild society as the leader of a small band of survivors after large parts of the world have been destroyed by a devastating solar flare. You start your settlement by gathering basic resources to satisfy the needs of your people and give them hope for a better life. Over time, refugees will join you, children will be born, and your small community will grow. But, as a result, the needs and demands of your people will grow as well. If these needs are not met, the morale of the entire settlement will deteriorate, with potential devastating outcomes. Through hard work and consistent research into forgotten technologies, you'll evolve your settlement. The more advanced the technology, the higher the requirements for completing that research will be. For example, paper production and a corresponding supply of wood for the sawmill play a major role in your ability to evolve your settlement. In addition, some research branches build on top of each other. If you haven't researched basic metalworking techniques, you simply don't have the base to process tin ore to ingots later. You will only have to manage a handful of different resources at the beginning but this number increases threefold or even fourfold after a few hours into the game. More technologies ensure a steadily increasing quality of life for your people, but also lead to higher demands from your residents. Soon, it will no longer be enough for your inhabitants to live from emergency rations or to run through the streets in torn rags. They will demand a variety of meals, warm clothes, and proper health care. In order not to jeopardize progress, you must legislate. Are you giving your people more rights while slowing down your economic progress? Or are you enslaving them to ensure high production yields while having children work in the factories? The more your settlement grows, the more difficult it will become to keep the production chains running. Initially, this is easy because there are only a few stations and buildings that are connected with each other in terms of production and technology. Luckily, from time to time, merchants will visit your town who allow you to trade goods. As you progress, you'll need to weigh up exactly how many hunter-gatherers you really need to maintain basic supplies. This is because more advanced buildings need more staff and also better trained residents, such as craftsmen or specialists. With time, the power supply for your settlement also becomes a cosmos of its own. If you position your wind turbines well at the beginning, you'll be set for the future. But you can't always rely on the wind and further into the game, you will have the opportunity to produce larger amounts of electricity via coal-based power plants. In addition, some buildings later in the game, such as mines or smelters, consume a lot of power, which automatically leads to bottlenecks. Also, random sandstorms can have a massive impact on the efficiency of your wind turbines. An event like this inevitably leads to the question, which buildings do you shut down in order to not put the power supply of your most important infrastructure at risk? And how will your residents react to smaller food rations or to strenuous extra shifts, even if it is only for a short time? The morale of your residents is not the only challenge. Harsh winters, sandstorms, droughts, and other natural disasters pose a constant threat to your fragile community's efficiency and health. Of course, there are also glimmers of hope. Completing tasks brought to you by your residents or visitors is always a welcome morale booster. It gets even more exciting in the later parts of the game, when you're able to send expeditions into the surrounding areas of your town. 
You never know what resources and opportunities your scouts will encounter on their journeys. Maybe they'll find valuable resources that you can mine, or even a particularly rich hunting ground. In any case, it is worthwhile to explore the world around you and set up outposts, even if it is only a watchtower which guides new refugees to your settlement. The fight for survival in New Cycle is an exciting roller coaster of ups and downs that will demand everything from you. Only smart city planning with constant development, quick problem solving, and the courage to make hard decisions can ensure the survival of your settlement. Core Engage's debut title takes the best from other well-known city builder games, but at the same time, the developers make sure to give the genre its own spin to make New Cycle's gameplay unique. The game will release an early access on January 18th, offering a sandbox mode, as well as a campaign that acts as both a large-scale adventure and tutorial that will teach you everything you need to know to succeed in the more challenging scenarios. Prepare to take drastic measures to save these cities from their demise. In sandbox mode, you can select exactly how difficult the game will be and which biome you want to settle down in. Each biome available at the early access launch offers an exciting mix of advantages and disadvantages. For example, if you choose the mountainous region, you will have to deal with harsh winters and less food, but you will have significantly increased yields from mining. So, would you like to take a closer look at New Cycle from Turkish developer Core Engage? Wishlist the game today, so you don't miss out on news and the early access launch on the 18th of January.